Sometimes you see hemorrhaging on the white part of the eye. Could you talk about that a little bit? Well, hemorrhages can very easily happen on the white part of the eye. Um, and this is called a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Um, the problem with a subconjunctival hemorrhage is it looks a lot worse than it actually is because you're, the conjunctiva of your, of your eye is filled with blood vessels, little capillaries, and they are very, very um, delicate, and they can easily be broken. Not only can they be broken by direct trauma, but occasionally, occasionally a significant sneeze uh, can actually break a small distal capillary, and you can sometimes break them when you're sleeping at night. So very commonly, a, ch a patient might wake up, a child or an adult might wake up and notice that their eye is red and they have absolutely no, no pain. Now, it's kind of like a situation at that point where you would go see your doctor and say, what's wrong with my eye? And, you know, he'll look at it. A, a skilled practitioner will say, don't worry about it. It's a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Um, certainly, a lot of people show up in the emergency room with something as, as benign as a subconjunctival hemorrhage and has to be told by the emergency room doctor that it's nothing to worry about. A more severe type, as you can see, fills more of the actual retina, but act, uh, I'm sorry, more of the conjunctiva. But actually, if it's a significant enough subconjunctival hemorrhage, for instance, in a person who takes non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, such as aspirin, the blood can actually fill the entire white of the eye. And even with that type of a situation, it's still a benign condition which will resolve with time. Can someone have a bleeding disorder that presents this way? Yes, certainly. Um, if your platelet function is, is somehow disrupted, or if you have you know, a low amount of platelets or bleeding dyscrasia, um, it's possible that you could first show yourself with a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Uh, usually what I'll tell a patient is if they have recurrent subconjunctival hemorrhages that they should go to see a hematologist or just to an internist to make sure that they don't have some type of bleeding disorder.